what we're gonna set up today is leaning which uh, can either be used for single player games or multiplayer games which is fully replicated with that said let's get right into it let's get right into it so what we want to start with is in oh now we were right we want to go in our blueprints Oh, uh, where is it stored? Is it stored in mannequin and in character? Nope. Animations. There we go. There it is. And what we want to do is go into the anim graph. So first of all, we want a variable, which we're going to call leaning. And we want to make this a float. After we've done this, we can put this to this side and open up third person character up real quickly. And I'm gonna unlock it to move it on the right. And what I wanna make here is a variable called lean angle and which gonna be also float. And I have to rename it, it F underscore lean angle there we go now i can compile it and minimize this for now we will need this in a second and what i'm gonna do now is go here to the event graph and i'm gonna use try to get pawn owner and cast to third person character and we wanna f uh, Uh, what is it? Oh, is that how did we name it? Oh yeah, I need to do F let's go somewhere all the way down here maybe. Get lean angle and we want to set it to leaning. So after we done this, we want to head over to our atom graph again. And what we're gonna get is a modify transform modify bone and we just want to connect this to our state machine so it co uh, converts to a local co uh, component to uh, a local to component and then we want it over here to convert from component to local which can just be done by just dragging it in but then we want to get into the bone. The bone we want to modify is the spine. Uh, let's go with spine 02. We don't need the translation pin. We don't need the scale pin. And what we need is also we don't need the uh, alpha. And what we want to do in rotation is add to existing and component space. And what we're gonna make here is we wanna break this. Uh, we wanna make our rotator. And what is the angle? Uh, what is the thing again? Let me really quickly look. Uh, actually, it's spinal two. This is. Oh god, what is it? <laughs> it's the up pitch or roll. Okay. Um, let me just find out very really quickly. Set this to like 45. Yep, it's pitch. It's pitch. Okay. So this doesn't really look pleasant, if I'm honest. So let's set this back to zero. And let's add this twice more. I'm going to show you in a second why I'm doing this. But let me just very really quickly. And I'm going to use the same logic for all three of them. But one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take leaning and float divided by float and divided by three. So what we got, uh, what we did is we got our leaning value. We divided it by three to have a on. Oh, and I need to change those to spine one and to spine free so 
So what I did right now is I got my leaning. I divided by three. So I have for all those components pretty much the same. Like we have the max angle here and we divided it into more sizable chunks to modify the bound. And with this, we made a new rotator because we don't want to parse anything into the row or the yaw. So we just stuck with this. And if we change the variable now, so if we go in here and set this to 45, it's a more smooth leaning. And we can also set this to minus 45. And what we now have to, oh, what we now have to set up is to set this on runtime. So let's head back over into our third person character. But one thing I forgot, I actually have to head over into project settings and I have to go under input and let's make two new action mappings, which one will be lean right and one Lean left. Lean left, we want to have Q. And lean right, we want to have key. Yeah, okay. We can't do that in here. So let me scroll down a little bit. And where's our E key? Where's our E key? There we go. We have our E key here. And with the set, we can just close it down. And we want to get Q and we want to get E. Oh no, we don't want to get, we want lean left and we want lean right. So let me open up once more my anim blueprint to find out which one is which. So if I go into positive, I leaned right. Okay, that's all I needed to know. So if we want to lean right, we're going to get lean right. And we're going to get a branch. Actually, we can use a gate. And we want to use a sequence. And the first pin goes into open and then enter. And the released ones, we want to go into closed. After this, we want to get a lean angle and plus plus no float plus float and we want to get like something like 0 0.01 or let's say 0 0.2 it's not that bad and we want to set our lean angle and then we want to delay which we can set to 0 0.1 and then we can hook it back up into sequence and let me just very quickly drag this a little bit down so I can easily access this node. And let me copy paste this second time. And we want to get released to down here and press to up here. And the one thing we want to change is now the value to minus 0 0.2. Let me show you. I know I know there will be a few now yelling at me that I made a mistake, but I, I know about that. I'm back now and I found my issue. So what we have what I have done wrong is I connected it to my sequence, which is not what we want. <laughs> you just wanna parse it in back here. So if we now click compile at save and we click play. If you want to lean, we can lean, but there is no stopping us. So we can just lean indefinitely, which I don't think we want because I don't think we want. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I don't think we want this. So, oh God. Okay. We definitely don't want this. So let's get in here and let's clamp it. What we can do is we can get a variable which we can call max um, float underscore max leaning angle and we can make a quick function. This is just to simplify a few things and we want to make it pure. So we're going to name this 
lean angle. We're just gonna get max angle. And we're gonna get a clamp float. And we're gonna get a min value by multiplying it by minus one, which turns the positive into a negative. And our max should be just this. And then we can just parse this in here, get a return node and plug it back in here. So if we go now in our event graph and get lean angle, just connect it up here. We can get it and connect it up here. What I want to do very really quickly is just to get some more space so I can align nodes a bit more cleaner so people have less of an issue actually read, uh, seeing what I'm doing. So on max leaning angle, we want to set this just to 30 feet, uh, 35. So we just saved us a lot of hassle with everything. And we now can lean from left to right. This will also carry your information over if you have an aim offset. So what we want to do next is to just, I'm going to show you how to make it quicker. So if you want to have it quicker, you can just change this value to, for example, let's, let's set it to minus one and one, which should be way quicker now. Doop, doop. And if you want, and you can pretty much make this also a bit simpler and you could also do it like if if you want like more of an instant leaning you can get this and not do everything i've done and just set the leaning angle to for example 45 and you can use vinterp to make it look nicer and generally yeah so we, you can have more of an instant leaning bit. Uh, I recommend um, going with something like what I did because your, pay, uh, your players will definitely like it more because they have more of, how do you call it? They have more variety how they want to lean. And now I'm gonna really quickly show you how we set up the logic for multiplayer. This will work fine for every single player game we, uh, you work on. So let me just really quickly make a custom event. Oh, I should actually call my custom events proper names. So update leaning angle. We want to run this on server. And what we want to do is set the leaning angle and we want this to replicate. So we're gonna plug this in here and what we wanna add in our little equation here. Is that an equation? I have no idea. We want to get our update leaning angle. Now we need a bit more. And we wanna parse in the set information. So if I hit play now and lean and switch to the other character, I can see how much I lean. And if I switch back, I can see how much he leans. So this is perfectly replicated. And yeah. Ooh, it's a bit chuggy, but yeah. And one thing I also want to show you is how to reset your leaning. If you, for example, want to just center out the leaning. So we can get C key and we can get our lean angle, set it to zero and we can do an update leaning angle. This only has to be done if you're working on a multiplayer game. But with this said, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial about how to set up leaning in Unreal Engine 4 and how, ca how you can modify a few variables in here. If you like what I'm doing, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. 
And if you have any specific wishes for future tutorials, let me know and I get down to doing that. With that said, I wish you all a nice day and goodbye.